What's Gucci, man? It's Pat Brady, you dig? One half of Marvelous Blunts. Welcome to Marvelous Blunts, you dig what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe right now. If you haven't, before we start the video, like, comment, subscribe, show love, give suggestions, all types of shit. Whatever you want to get into, leave it in the comments on our email, you dig? And I am here for this Sonic the Hedgehog movie review, you dig? Just came back. Valentine's weekend, kids out. It was a, you know what I'm saying? It was a festival field day today. So, you know what I'm saying? Went to go check out Sonic and get y'all the review, get y'all the report. You dig what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to be real with you, Chief. They did an okay job. You know what I'm saying? I think these are the same people that made Detective Pikachu. I wouldn't say this was better than Detective Pikachu, but this was a good movie. You know what I'm saying? Um, You know, we got the... Regular suspect Sonic doing his thing, but you know, basically this story is about Sonic really just wanting a friend. You know what I'm saying? It's really not even that deep. They didn't really make it that deep. You know what I'm saying? Which I did like because that made it easier for you know the new generation, which is the kids to understand. But you know, this movie was just about Sonic finding a friend. Um, Sonic, yes, he was the main character. His like friend or the human person, the person was called Tom, and you know his biggest op, which was Jim Carrey was Dr. Robotnik, AKA Mr. Eggman. One thing I gotta say, I'm gonna just go ahead and go to the good stuff of this movie. I really like the uh, feel, the nostalgia of the game Sonic. You know what I'm saying? Like that was like one of the first games I ever played on Sega and it just really felt like a, se a Sonic game. You know what I'm saying? Like even, it just felt like a Sonic game on like Xbox One, but it just had so many Sonic feels to it, which was really, really good for me. Cause you know, that's what I was looking for as an adult going into this kid ass movie. Um, I really like how it looked visually, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was clean, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like, I mean, I feel like most of the cartoons that come out are clean, but it was really clean how they look, and look made Sonic look. And I got to give a big salute to one, the studio, taking our suggestions and getting rid of that whack-ass Sonic because that Sonic was terrible. They wanted to look like a muskrat. He looked like, uh, 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 what is that thing all Kim Possible? Um... Rufus, Rufus, Rufus. That's what it looked like at first, a blue Rufus. So they did a good job with that. Um, I think the dude who did the voiceover for Sonic did a good job too. Like you really connected to this Sonic. Like if this is who Sonic was his whole life, it could be whoever this guy. I think his name was Ben Swartz. Um, I think that's his name who plays Sonic, but he did a good ass job of playing that voiceover because you really felt connected to Sonic. Uh, on an adult level and on the kid level, I feel like it just felt like the real Sonic, which was what I really wanted to feel. Another good thing that I really liked was Jim Curry. It was good to see him back. He been on some wild shit lately. And, you know what I'm saying? I ain't know really where he was at with his acting career, but man, he did a good job with this. This was like the 90s Jim Curry that if you grew up watching Jim Curry, the mask, the Grinch, that type of Jim Curry type shit. When he was playing Dr. Eggman, that's the kind of shit he was giving off. And I really, I really did rock with Jim Curry role. Like it really showed me again <clears throat> how funny he is. You know what I'm saying? He looked like he really was having fun with the role as well. You know what I'm saying? Like he was just being really goofy. And that's if you know Jim Curry. Jim Curry's a goofy dude. All that serious Jim Curry shit. I don't even know about that. I wasn't even checking for that. But Dr. Eggman. He did a great job of playing that villain, you know what I'm saying? Because the number one thing is he looked like he was having fun with it. And like I said in all my videos, if you ain't having fun with what you're doing, it's not going to be quality product. So, shout out to Jim Curry. Good comeback. You feel me? The dude who played Sock Pops was Tom. And, yeah, he was cool. <laughs> I mean, he was good, a good person to, for Sign to feed off with, like, in the human aspect. He had him a little bad, little chocolate joint. You feel what I'm saying? They got real interracially in this movie. And I like that too. Um, she Queen, a queen was in the movie directing them. She wasn't acting all stupid or acting like an angry black woman. Thank God. But her sister was. Her sister was funny too. Uh, who played the sister for uh, the dude, uh, Tom's uh, girlfriend. So... I mean, but you know, like I said, basically this movie, I mean, like that's my good stuff about it. You know, like I said, the plot of the, really the movie is, is Sonic finding a friend 
and just wanting to be accepted. Shit, I wanted to be Sonic's friend at, at one point. I was like, man, I'll be your friend, bro. You can run around fast around me and talk all day if you want to. You feel me? So I really did. I really did like. I really, really like the portrayal they put a Sonic, but. I am going to get to some bad shit because it was some bad shit. It wasn't as a lot as Harley Quinn shit. This was better than Harley Quinn, PSA. Uh, it wasn't as bad as Harley Quinn, but it was some bad things there. One thing I thought, I think the runtime was a little bit too short for the... It seemed like everything was kind of like rushed. And I think that's because maybe they wanted to like get a feel of how people really felt for this movie. For you know Maybe the next one, they might really get into some real like... Like some real stuff. It didn't. It didn't. It really felt like no stakes for real. It just felt like they were just moving through the story. Like it didn't really. Like, like it was no character development. It was just like yeah, Son just wants a friend. Um, I just feel like they could have did more, or at least made it a little bit longer so they could add more to it. You know, that's one thing I just didn't like. It really short because I was like. Once you started getting into the scenes with Sonic is turning uh, Super Saiyan and shit, you want more of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I just felt like it was just really shortened. Um, so that was my one of my gripes with the movie that it felt short. Um, I know it's for the kids, but you know they didn't come up on Sonic, so I think it. You know what I'm saying? It could have been less kiddish. You know what I'm saying? It was like really like a kid movie. It was just really like uh, 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 uh. not too much. I feel like. <clears throat> kid movies and kids stuff back in the day was more mental it made us use our mind more i feel like it's like not that much mental put into like kids movies now it's just like uh whatever they'll laugh at a blue they they just like things that glow in the dark everything was glowy in this movie um so i think it was too kitty and detective pikachu the people who made detective pikachu made this and detective pikachu wasn't like that it wasn't too kitty you know what i'm saying it was still like something that adults can enjoy. Not saying that you couldn't enjoy Sonic as an adult, but it was too kiddy. Um, oh yeah, this is all topic of Sonic, but I also realized that I don't like the fact that all these movies look like Sonic. Like even all the previews for movies, all kids movies are just starting to look like Pixar movies. And there's no like difference like how uh, the Goofy movie and the old Disney movies used to be 2D. It's no 2D movies anymore. They need to bring back 2D movies. My last gripe would probably be the fact that it was like no characters from the Sonic era. You know what I'm saying? Like they ended up bringing in Tails, but literally at the end, like a post credit. And yeah, everybody stopped taking Marvel Steve with these post credit scenes. Just put that shit in the movie. Um, I wish they could have showed Knuckles and Tails and just more of the characters. Like it's more to Sonic. And I feel like his mans is a part of the Sonic story. But that's the only thing I the only things I really didn't like. I really didn't like a lot. Like I said, the mood was okay. Uh I definitely am gonna give it a lot of up because it was it was good. It was okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it was great. I'm not saying it was the greatest movie in the world, but it was a good movie. It's a good movie if you wanna just have a nostalgia of Sonic. It's a good movie if you just wanna take the kids, your nieces, your nephews, go see it. It's a good kids movie. And um yeah, it was visually clean. So, got a lot of up. I would give it a B plus. It's only getting a B plus because I love Sonic. But other than that, it probably would have got a little bit of lower grade. But B plus for Sonic. Shout out to them. It's better than Harley Quinn. <laughs> it's marvelous, Blunt. You dig? It's Pat Brady. Like, comment, subscribe. What did you think of Sonic? Did you think it was sweet? Did you think it was not? Let us know down below.